Hey everyone, today is November 27, 2024. My name is Jenna Hakim, and I'm a Lebanese fine artist based in Lebanon. My painting style is dynamic, moving between surrealism and themes inspired by nature, usually focusing on the connections, patterns, and relationships that are within us and even around us. I grew up in the mountains in a quiet, peaceful neighborhood. Art was always a part of my life, but it truly became significant when I joined an art academy as a child. My parents were supportive, and my mom, by the way, which is an artist herself, always left her creativity in every corner of our house. So I learned from a young age that art was the most easy, natural way for me to express myself. So it became a way to create my own worlds. And even now, looking back at older pieces, feels like reading a diary, always revealing something new. My work mixes surrealism and psychological and natural themes, using dynamic compositions and sometimes symbols to spark emotion and thought. I'm inspired by my surroundings and the complexities of the human experience. For me, it's about creating a space where one might find a better understanding of oneself or of the world around us. Now, growing up surrounded by nature definitely shaped my perception. I first learned how to slow down, appreciate the beauty in small things, to find connections where they might not be that obvious, But I think that that sense of discovery still carries into my work. I love exploring surreal themes and creating pieces that reflect a sense of self-reflection or connection. I like to include hidden symbols in my work, like little meanings for viewers to uncover. Sometimes I even add optical illusions. I just love how that adds more interest to the eyes and also creates a movement. I would say that contrast is another aspect that I love to add into my work, as well as using lines. Titles are also really important to me. Um, they're not just labels, but clues that hint at the story or intention behind the piece. And I just use it sometimes to add some irony and some fun. I also work with clay and I love creating sculptures and ceramics. There's something so satisfying to me about using my hands to shape something out of nothing. I enjoy how even the smallest touch or movement can transform a piece. Now, as for my inspirations, it actually comes from so many places. Sometimes it's nature, other times it's just random moments in my day that often go unnoticed. But if I have to be more specific about picking artists, I would go for Edward Hopper. I just admire his work, as well as René Magritte, of course Monet, and also recently Oliver Eliasson. Their work to me is very visually interesting, but also has this deeper psychological side that pulls you in. Right now my work is more focused on nature. I've been studying patterns and textures, exploring how the micro and the macro worlds are connected. I'm experimenting with mixing realism and abstract styles, and I've been adding textures like wood, microbeads, and texture paste to kind of give the piece more depth. Now what fascinates me most is how these patterns, whether in the veins of leaves, ripples on water, or the chaos of human behavior reflect the inner workings of our souls um, or of our minds. I see art as a way to delve into psychology, exploring how our surroundings mirror our thoughts, emotions, and even connections to one another. Each painting to me becomes a connection, not just between nature and humanity, but also between chaos and order. Now, we all know that being an artist isn't easy. It comes with its fair share of challenges, like anything. But 
I feel like there's always this pressure to create something meaningful, something that leaves a mark. Also, one of my challenges as an emerging artist is finding a consistent style or theme. Uh, But I think with time and consistent work, I'll get there. And from there, if I could give advice to my younger self, it would be to not be afraid of uncertainty or doubt. And also that you can create your own conditions for creativity. So you don't always have to wait for things to be perfect to create. I've always loved experimenting with new ideas, materials, and techniques. Lately, I've been incorporating natural elements like wood bark and leaves into my work. I find it really therapeutic, and it actually feels deeply connected to the themes that I'm currently exploring. I would also add that music is a big part of my creative process. I usually have something playing in the background, like indie or folk. It really helps me get into a flow state and work more intuitively, especially that I can sometimes get too logical and a bit of a perfectionist. But I would also add that being in a calm, open environment is just as important as music. It sets the mood for me and helps me stay focused throughout the process. One of the best parts of being an artist, I would say, is hearing how people connect with my work. To me, it's not just about them liking it. So, for example, when someone tells me that a painting reminded them of a memory or made them feel understood, that's the most fulfilling thing. I also usually love to listen to people's interpretations of my work and how that opens up new perspectives and possibilities that I might not even have noticed or thought of before. I just hope my art gives people a sense of belonging or connection, that it makes them feel understood in some way. There is a quote by Thomas Merton that I would like to close this off with, which goes like, art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. And that's exactly what I hope my work does for people. And finally, I want to thank Art by Artists for this incredible opportunity. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can find me on Instagram and TikTok under Art by Jana Hakim or visit my website, which is in my Instagram bio. Thanks again.